So another option at 19. This is a guy I really like at 19, Chris Duarte out of Oregon. Yeah, Duarte, is he's the same age as Devin Booker. Yeah. <laughs> so you better expect quick results from him. I actually just heard from a team yesterday who said he had a terrible workout. Oh, um, man. And he was not in shape. Wow. He didn't go to the NBA Combine. Mm. I'm told he was a little bit stubborn and that he would only want to do, when you go to the Combine, you have to participate in, in specific activities there. You mm. can't do your own thing. And he refused to go a week without working out with his own guy. That's what I was told. Is that a red? I mean, that's got to be a red flag, right? You know, I don't think it's going to stop a team from drafting him. Mm-hmm. I don't think he, you know, he hadn't played much. And, uh, and supposedly it showed in this particular workout. But mm. it's not going to, you know, we've, we've watched enough of him for two years at Oregon to know what he does yeah. well. And I think with, with Duarte, like, the guy can make shots. And he's tough. Um, he's kind of like a badass. He's a 3 and D guy. And yeah. the question with Duarte is, the shot creation, is that going to translate? Mm. He was not a, he's not a great athlete. He's not like wiggly or, or shaky off the dribble. Mm-hmm. Uh, but he's a good shooter off the dribble. And he's a very good spot-up shooter. And he's got great defensive tools. And he's tough. And, and he's kind of got a pro's mentality. And, you know, his background, Juco to Oregon. Like, he's one of those guys who just makes things happen with his career. So... I'm good with Duarte for for a Knicks team if he's you know you keep both of those picks yeah right and and you go with a young guy at one pick and Duarte as like 21, but you know I think there's a little more upside to be had in the 19 to 21 range than just Duarte. So yeah, sure he's a target and I've actually I think in my last mock draft I had the Knicks taking him, just with the assumption that they're looking to win now. Suddenly the window has changed yeah and he he is one of those win now type of guys. And teams are watching, like Cam Johnson, you know, who, who was 23 when he was drafted, mm-hmm. and he's suddenly helping the Phoenix Suns in the playoffs. There's no reason why Duarte can't do the same thing in that same exact role. And so, yeah, so th- th- that's kind of the, th- the thing with Duarte. You better get quick results. Um, and, and if if he's able, if any of that creation in the pick and roll play is able to translate, even better. I think the player that could probably help New York the most. I know point guard is is a position of need, but I feel like Duarte could really come in, and I'm. Chris Duarte from Oregon. Mm -hmm. He's a little older. He may not have the super high upside, but I think he's ready to come in and contribute. He give size at the wing. I know the Knicks were one of the, if I'm not mistaken, a a pretty good team as far as shooting from deep, but it did not translate in the playoffs. Yeah. They needed, I felt like they needed more shooting. I felt like they had trouble manufacturing points. Um, but yeah, I mean, I think Duarte would be a really good fit. Yeah. Um, yeah. I have, he's definitely a first round guy. Uh, you know, I think he's going to be 24 at the draft, like Raphael mentioned. Yeah. So, and, and, but that's the only, the only real knock on him. I mean, you know, Raphael mentioned Cade is being maybe the best shooter in the draft. Um, Duarte's right up there with him. Um, you know, I think he shot 44% from three, uh, this past like season. 50, 40, uh, right? Yeah. I think he's a 50, 40 Mm-hmm. high 80 guy yeah it was a heavy diet like a decent diet of a mix of you know catch and shoot and off the dribble um so it wasn't just you know staying still shooting right that that was more so you know trey murphy is another prospect linked to the knicks a lot more of his stuff is more just catch and shoot uh, which he did incredibly well yeah. but um Duarte's got more of the kind of off the dribble uh, shooting. A name I don't think I heard y'all mention mention was uh chris darte from oregon mm. the josh giddy stuff I, it's cool, but I, as a Knicks fan, we don't need any more guys who can't be reliable three-point shooters. And that's just something I don't see from him, especially in day one. And Thib said he won't he want wings that can shoot, man. Josh Giddy yeah. is not a wing that can shoot. Enough playmaking and, and playmaking potential. We need outside shooting. Yeah, it, I mean, if the Knicks okay, took yeah. Duarte, he, he's one of the oldest players on the team. Yeah, he's 24 you know, he, right now, right? He's like Taj's age right now, you know? Yeah. Like, um, but granted, he could hoop. Yeah, he can. He, you know, he's he's got an NBA skill set. Smooth, buttery jumper. Can defend. He's got bounce. Um, he's got size. So, I don't think that the Knicks are gonna have to trade up for him. If if the Knicks take him at twenty one, it's definitely nothing to be upset about because he, like we mentioned, Tibbs is gonna want guys who can play right away. Uh, and he's got, you know, the athleticism to play in the NBA, and he could really stroke it, and he can defend. So uh, he's a, an interesting guy from the, the fact that, you know, you kind of know what you're getting in him, um, and you don't see guys his age really getting picked in the first round all that often. So I think yeah. it speaks to, you know, the the untapped potential that teams probably think that he has. Uh, but I, I definitely don't think you need to trade up for him. I, I think he'll be there at either of the next picks. Yeah. 